Why is everybody panicking? You need to calm down, folks. Do not panic. Ron Rivera told us not to panic. This is not a time to panic, folks. Every every day you see a team that starts off one and four. It's fine. It is fine. We're one and four. We're at the the seller of the NFC East. It's fine, folks. There's no need to panic. We are going to win the next 12 games, and we're going to be just fine. We do not need to panic. Ron Rivera told us so, and I'm telling you, folks, if you think that now's the time to panic, you are completely wrong. Yes, there, there, there's a sense of urgency that we need to have, but this is not the time to panic. Why do we need to panic? Just because we're 1-4? and four? Just because we lost four games in a row? Just because the interior of the offensive line is horrid? Just because our quarterback has been iffy? And the play calling? I mean, come on. Those things are just little crumbs, folks. No need to get yourself worked up over any of this whatsoever. Thus saith Ron Rivera. And I tell you, what Ron Rivera says is the truth. Now, if you hear my sarcasm, I'm spreading it pretty thick. Yes. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Ron Rivera. I really do. I was so overjoyed when we got Ron Rivera as our head coach. And I probably did a video on this sometime a couple of years ago. You want to go back and check that video? Yes, I know I did a video on that. I was so happy because I really felt that Ron Rivera got the shaft in Carolina. I think he was a solid head coach in Carolina. I think he was finally bringing some good things to, to the Panthers. And then... David Tepper steps in and fires him and all this stuff. And so anyway, Ron Rivera is going to come here and change the culture, going to bring in a winning culture. It's going to take a little bit, but by year three, you judge him. Well, Ron Rivera, it's year three, and we're judging you, and you're failing. Why are we, why are we failing? Well, because we are winning fourth. And because we've taken a step backwards, we have lost four games in a row. And honestly, that first game that, that we won, we lost a pretty sizable lead and had to come back and win that game. So this team could easily be 0-5 right now. And you could say, well, yeah, but this team had their chances. They came back against Detroit nearly came back, you know, completed a, a full comeback on that one, but they didn't. Um, they had their chance to win yesterday. They led, you know, for a little bit. They did, but they didn't win the game. And I'm sorry, but at the end of it, it comes down to what happens. What is the score at the end of the game? And at the end of the game, the commanders are the losing team. And they're one and four. And we do look at the offensive line and we see how much it's in shambles. All right. You're looking at Andrew Norwell, who was a huge downgrade to Brandon Sheriff. And I realize Norwell is playing the left side where Brandon played the right side. I get that. But it was supposed to be a swap between two Pro Bowl Pro Bowl. <laughs> players, right? Two highly regarded guards. And Norwell is being shoved around like a, a teddy bear. And you have Nick Martin, who can't snap the football to save his life. He put so many footballs on the ground yesterday. So many bad center to quarterback exchanges yesterday. It was just terrible. Had a terrible day. Um, Cosme's been hurt and he hadn't really played that well. Um, the only guy that I would consider has had a pretty decent year has been Charles Leno. I think he's played his, his hind end off. He's been hurt. You know, he did, he had a game where he didn't play particularly well because he was playing hurt, but I thought he had a pretty solid day yesterday. He didn't really allow a lot, but you look at the rest of the offensive line every single time that Carson Wentz went back to pass. You could see that offensive line getting shoved backwards. 
we didn't we didn't address the offensive line during the off season. We made it worse. And you look at the play calling. Scott Turner, I'm sorry, he's not his daddy. North Turner was a very, very top-notch, very good offensive coordinator. Horrible head coach, but offensive coordinator, he was top-notch. Scott Turner is not North Turner. It's not his daddy. Um, Uninspired, um, just uncreative play calling. Play calling in the red zone has been horrible. And yesterday, a lot of that certainly had to do with, you know, Ron Rivera's game management. You know, challenging a pass that was not going to be, I'm sorry, but that was just one of those situations where you realize you were not going to win that challenge. There was just not enough conclusive evidence. Should have never challenged that. You would have kept that timeout. You could have used that timeout there at the end when the commanders were threatening to score a touchdown. They could have used that. They could have ran the football. Could have opened up a lot of possibilities. But you didn't do it. And yes, Ron, I I realize hindsight's always 20-20. But you got to face the facts, dude. There's been a lot of head-scratching decisions you made as a head coach. You know, going for it for two uh, that second time in the Detroit game when we just could have kicked the extra point and just been down by seven points. Instead, you go for it for two, and then, you know, we miss that, and then later on we miss an extra point. Now we're down by two scores. You know, you, you can't... You can't make these decisions like that. They were poor decisions. Uh, Time management's been awful. You know, the first half toward the end of the first half, you know, you you decide, okay, I'm going to start using my timeouts, and then we don't stop the Titans, and then suddenly, well, let's just keep, let's just let them use all of the, the game clock up and let them score, and then we don't have any time left to try to rebuttal, right? Because we're going to get the ball back first. We get the ball back first and we go three and out. I mean, the hits just keep coming. So, folks, here's the thing. We're not going to see real change. There's no way that this team is going to win 12 games in a row. There's There's no way that this team is winning 12. This team, okay, let's say this team gets on a good winning streak and they win the next six games. And then suddenly you're looking at a team that's, uh, what, seven and four. And then suddenly things are great. Guess what? That's still probably not going to be enough because you're looking at the other NFC East teams. They're playing some good football. All the other NFC East teams, they're like, They've only lost one game, right? Uh, the Giants, the Cowboys, and the Eagles are 5-0. and So it's not going to be enough. It is not going to be enough. What can we do to solve this problem? Well, you can't really fire anybody now. You know, blowing it all up now, I'm not sure what that's going to help. Uh, you're going to have to let this coaching regime coach the rest of the season because Dan Snyder is in so much of a, an issue right now, uh, probably politically, um, you know, business wise. I don't think he's in a position where he can fire a head coach and that may be even more negative press against him. And right now he, he probably doesn't need as much negative press as, as what this would be given to him. But Overall, we're going to have Ron Rivera till the end of the season. And we're going to have Jack Del Rio till the end of the season. And we're going to have Scott Turner till the end of the season. None of that's going to change. Because Ron Rivera is not going to make that change. Folks, this team is heading toward a maybe. Maybe we pick up a couple other wins. This team is going to be well below 500 by the end of this season. 
um, because there's just no way that this team is going to improve. Um, getting Chase Young back will help somewhat, but guess what? Chase Young is not going to be on the offense. He's not going to be on that offensive line. Our defense has been playing better, especially after we benched William Jackson a third. I thought the secondary actually played better. But other than that, can't rely completely solely on the defense. This is not the, was it the 2000 Ravens? I'm sorry, folks, but this, this season is over for the Washington Commanders, and it's pretty much over for Ron Rivera. But like he said, there's no... There's no sense to panic. Let's not panic, folks. Let's just sit back and enjoy losing. And with that said, if you like this video, then, you know, like it. Give me a comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, share it with your buddies. Your buddies. And with that said, uh, support this channel in other ways. You can support me through Patreon if you like. And... You can donate directly to me, and here's how you do it.